Capitulation in tech stocks signals massive upside ahead. Listen, a lot of people talk about capitulation, but few can actually help you visualize it. We're going to do that today. And more importantly, this capitulation, right? Forced selling signals huge upside for technology stocks. Hey, I'm Luke Downey. I'm going over the latest map signals insights. It's good stuff. Make sure you sign up for free to be getting this every single week. So let's go ahead and get to it. So a lot of people, they're worried about job growth. They're worried about rate cuts. Very few people are focused on money flows. That is what map signals does. And what I want us to do is look at the leadership in the market. So map signals, we take the entire marketplace, small cap, mid cap, large cap, you name it. And then we will rank them by their fundamentals and technicals. And we get this beautiful, easy to follow map score. Number one, we've got industrials, right? Huge build out that's going on in America. That is our top ranked sector. And then technology and energy and financials round out the top four. So it's very important whenever you're studying the market to know where the leadership is. Where's the weakness? It's in real estate, communications, and healthcare. All right. So listen, there's a cyclical feel to this market right now, but let's go ahead and see what capitulation looks like. If we go to the last week of May, we're talking about May 30th. We actually saw the most selling literally since the pandemic, uh, excuse me, since the October low. So here we are, we're looking at all of the tech stocks that are getting bought and sold in our data. So we've got green, that is telling you the number of tech stocks that are under accumulation. Red, this is telling you the number of tech stocks that are getting sold. I've got it circled here, late May, 44 discrete technology stocks were sold. This is the most, again, since the October lows of October 26. So this is rare action. Why is this so important? And you may also be wondering, well, what stocks were getting sold, Luke? Because I'm seeing technology go up. Well, remember salesforce.com? They kind of missed earnings, guided lower. The market took it down, call it 20% that day. Full disclosure, I've owned that for years. A great company, but it really hit a ton of software names. Okay, so that's the tech selling that we are noticing, that we're pointing to. But here is the deal. If you go back to 2013, I singled out every single moment where there were 44 or more technology stocks that were getting sold. So there were 78 discrete times when this happened. Check this out. One month later, XLK, this is the Spider Technology Sector ETF. It is up 3.9% a month later. It's up 7.8% three months later, 12% six months later, 23% 12 months later, and lo and behold, if you can think out two years, I know most people can't think that far out, but tell me, that's that's how you make money in the markets. 57% is your average gain for XLK. And here's the best part, 100% positive hit ratio, right? So there are a ton of great companies in this ETF. This has a an unbeatable track record when you go out two years. So listen, don't be worried about are tech stocks going to go under and are they going to crash? Please, that's for the birds, okay? This is a huge, amazing bull market that's happening. And by the way, we are going to be going to the money show. This is Jason, my business partner. Look at that face right there. He's going to be going to Las Vegas. If you want to meet him, you got to show up. So we are doing this in early August. We'd love to meet you guys. If you can't make it to Las Vegas, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Better yet, go over to mapsignals.com, do yourself a service, become a better investor, follow our insights. You will make money over the long term if you focus on great companies. I'll see you guys next time.